Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of Microsoft Azure 900 exam. I am your host, Kushal Mehta. And let's get started. Next question. Please select the option to fill in the following blank. If the resource group named My Resource Group has a delete lock, dash. And the options are Option 1. Only members of the Global Administrators Group can delete My Resource Group. Option 2. The delete lock must be released in order for the administrator to delete the My Resource Group. Option 3. Administrator needs to change Azure policy in order to delete My Resource Group. Option 4. Administrator needs to add an Azure tag in order to delete My Resource Group. And the correct answer is Option 2. The delete lock must be released in order for the administrator to delete the My Resource Group. Explanation Option 2 is the correct answer. When you lock a resource group, the lock applies to all resources in the target group. Therefore, if the administrator wants to delete the target resource, the deletion lock must be released. If a resource group has a lock applied to it, even the administrator cannot delete the resource group. Option 1 is incorrect. Even global administrators cannot delete resource groups as long as locks are in effect. Option 3 is incorrect. Policies are used to apply compliance and organizational rules to resources and are not related to locks. Option 4 is incorrect. Tags are used for logical grouping of resources and are not related to locks. Next question. You have created a resource group named Resource1 in Azure Resource Manager. What settings do you need to prevent accidental deletion of Resource1's resources? And the options are Option 1. Deletion Protection Settings Option 2. Lock Settings Option 3. Azure Policy Settings Option 4. Property Abstinence And the answer is Option 2. Lock Settings Explanation Option 2 is the correct answer. Once the lock is applied to the resource group level, the resources in the group cannot be deleted. Administrators may need to lock subscriptions, resource groups, or resources to prevent other users in your organization from accidentally deleting or modifying critical resources. The lock level can be set to cannot delete or read only. In the portal, these locks are listed as delete and read only, respectively. Option 1 is incorrect. There is no feature called delete protection for resource groups. Option 3 is incorrect. Azure policy is a function that allows you to define and evaluate rules for using Azure. This does not prevent the removal of resources from the resource group. Option 4 is incorrect. The property abstinence is incorrect. This provides details for a particular resource group and does not prevent the deletion of resources within the resource group. Question 35. True or false? Azure Advisor provides advice on improving the security of your on-premise Active Directory environment. And the options are Option 1. True Option 2. False And the correct answer is Option 2. False Explanation The correct answer is False Azure Advisor provides a way to improve the security of your Azure resources, but it doesn't provide a way to improve the security of your on-premise Active Directory, which is Azure AD environment. Azure Advisor integrates with Azure Security Center, which can provide security recommendations to Azure AD and all Azure resources. Azure Advisor is a personalized cloud consultant that optimizes your Azure deployment according to the best practices. Resource configuration and usage statistics are analyzed to recommend solutions that help improve the cost effectiveness, performance, reliability, formerly high availability, and security of Azure resources. Next question. True or false? Azure Advisor 
is where you can file a cap relaxation request for resource limits. And the options are option 1, true, option 2, false. And the correct answer is option 2, false. Explanation The correct answer is false. Azure Advisor is a service that provides solutions that help you improve cost effectiveness, performance, reliability, and security. And you cannot file a cap relaxation request for resource limits here. Question 37 True or false? Azure Advisor provides cost cutting recommendations. And the options are Option 1 True. Option 2 False. And the correct answer is Option 1 True. The correct answer is true. Azure Advisor provides recommendations on how to reduce the cost of running Azure virtual machines. Advisors provide relevant best practices to help you improve reliability, security, performance, achieve operational excellence, and reduce costs. Configure the advisor to target specific subscriptions and resource groups, focusing on critical optimizations. You can access the advisor using the Azure portal, the Azure command line interface, or the Azure API. Alternatively, configure alerts to automatically notify you of new recommendations. Next question, true or false? Azure advisor is available for free. And the options are, option one, true. Option two, false. And the correct answer is, Option 1. True. Explanation. The correct answer is true. Azure Advisor is a service that provides solutions that help you improve cost effectiveness, performance, reliability, and security and is available for free. Next question. Your company needs to run 10 Windows Server 2016 and 20 Linux virtual machines on a regular basis and remove them after their task processing is finished. Which Azure service should you use to minimize the administrative effort required to deploy and delete these virtual machines? And the options are Option 1. Microsoft Virtual Desktop Option 2. Azure Reserved VM Instances Option 3. Azure Dev Test Labs Option 4. Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set And the correct answer is Option 3. Azure Dev Test Labs Explanation Option 3 is the correct answer. You can use Azure Dev Test Labs to build a fast, easy development or test environment. It is possible to set the number of virtual machines by using the Azure Resource Manager template to configure the required number of virtual machines in settings in advance. Option 1 is incorrect. Microsoft Virtual Desktop is a desktop an app virtualization service that runs in the cloud. Option 2 is incorrect. Azure Reserved VM Instances launches virtual machines of any size in the Reserved Instance Size group. So you can't specify and launch an instance of a particular size. Option 3 is incorrect. Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets allow you to create and manage groups of virtual machines and distribute the load within the same group, which is used when building large-scale services, which is used when building large-scale services. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our premium AZ bundle with 90% off. Check link in the description.